So here we're outside the, what is known as the Churchgate Hotel. There's a lovely sign saying what's, what's going to be developed here. Do you, what concerns, if any, do you have with this development? Well, a number of residents wrote to me a few weeks ago about the Churchgate Hotel development and the actions of Longmount Properties Limited, who have submitted to Harlow Council an application to modify the planning obligations that were set for their development. What they're planning to do is, frankly, to renege on a commitment to have nine affordable housing units. Basically, there'll be flats in this development. They say that no social, uh, no social landlords um, showed any interest. My concern is I don't think they've done enough work to actually attract social landlords to take up what I think is a, an incredible opportunity here in Old Harlow. The fact of the matter is this, in Churchgate Street, in any area in Harlow, we need good affordable housing and I think it's quite reckless of a developer to renege on a planning obligation. What I've done is I have written to Harlow Council to formally object to this application to modify their planning obligations. I have to say, I've never seen an application like this in a very long time, in many years, and I think that the developer owes a responsibility to connect with the community and recognise some of the issues for young people particularly who want to get on the housing ladder in Harlow. What happens next from this is that this application should come to the Development Management Committee on Harlow Council and I will be fighting with residents to object to this plan. Have you had any feedback so far from the developers at all? So the, the, the developers haven't been forthcoming uh, in connected with the community over this. Uh, despite attempts to connect with them, I've not had any comment come back and nor have the community and I think that's disappointing. I think there is a way forward on this if we can sit down with the developers and discuss the concerns not just of the residents but of councillors too who are very upset about this. Churchgate Street is a lovely place to live. It does have a number of luxury properties, but that doesn't stop the fact that there needs to be a good mix, the right mix of affordable housing in Churchgate Street. So that's what I'm campaigning on at the moment. Is that what the residents who have written to you are saying? They yeah. want somewhere possibly that their children might be afford to live in? So some of the examples of the letters that I've received and emails from residents are, one, yes, for young people uh, in the town who are struggling to build up a deposit to buy a home because let's face it property prices in Harlow are steadily increasing with the developments that will happen in the future. Um, there is a wider debate here about affordable housing in the town but this could be an example of offering a good mix of affordable housing yes and luxury apartments. I understand developers do need to get a commercial return on these things but they've also got to recognise what the community needs are and I think it's an attractive proposition to have uh, a social land or take up this opportunity so I think they need to work a bit harder. Do you think there's going to be more of this as you said with the regeneration agenda you know coming it's for, at fruition now in Harlow I think it's simply going to be more of this and what it, all councils may have to have a look at, look at these situations. We see I think this is actually a test case for the town and I think this is where the council and the community need to put pressure on developers like Longmount Properties um, to say, look, you've got to take in the community's concerns. I think there is an attractive proposition for social landlords to take up an opportunity here, to take on the nine units that they were recommending. I just think they need to take a step back and consult more with the community and the council over this and not just think about their profits.